Hey, what's up, guys? It's Austin or Luna. And a couple of days ago, I actually said this in a video. I was like, oh, when I was 13, between like 12 and 13, and I'd probably say 14, I was kind of like, I guess you could just say I had an attitude on me. And the only reason I'm fucking saying this is because today's video kind of ties into it. I wasn't 13 when this happened, but there was a 13 year old, maybe even 12 year old kid. I don't even know how old he actually was. He could have been lying. But in this story I'm about to tell you guys, it involves someone who had way more than a fucking attitude. I think he had a fucking shoe up his ass or something, because he was really, really mean and evil for a 13-year-old kid. But yeah, I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to jump right into it. Leave a like if you enjoy, and here it is. So almost a year ago now, I was hanging out with my friend Josh, and I was just literally hanging out with him. We were walking around, finding shit to do because we were bored. He was just about to get his car, so this was like the last, I'd say, few weeks that we had to walk around and do stuff, because then we'd have a car and we'd be able to drive around. And let's just say we were looking forward to this, because... After a while, walking around everywhere gets pretty fucking boring unless you're playing Pokemon Go. And it wasn't around at this time, so pretty fucking boring just walking around your town with nothing to do. Oh, and speaking of that, I have a very recent story to tell you guys soon regarding Pokemon Go, which is fucking hilarious. And, well, not even hilarious, just really weird. I'll talk about that later in the week, probably, if not, like, two weeks. But anyway, back to the story at hand. We were walking around, and we took a turn, a little shortcut, down this neighborhood road. And this was a nice, like, civil neighborhood, so we did not expect anything to happen that was bad or run into any people that were going to start anything. And as we're walking down, this, like, 13-year-old kid is sitting up on his porch at this one house. It was, like, a duplex. He was sitting on the porch with a bunch of his friends, probably around the same age group as him. There was one of them that looked a little bit older. But he starts walking off his porch towards the sidewalk where we were coming. And he stops us from walking by just stopping in the middle of the sidewalk where we had to go. And when we tried to walk around him, he like moved to the left and, you know, cut us off and wouldn't let us go. And the friend I was with, Josh, he's not like a badass, but he says what's on his mind and he does not fucking care if he offends you. And sometimes that's really, really good and it helps us out and then other times it gets us into shit. And you'll see what outcome we have in a minute here. But this kid jumps in our way on the sidewalk, keeps us from walking to where we need to go. And my friend just says, he's like, what do you want, man? And this kid's like, what's up? And, you know, we're sitting there confused because we have no idea who he is. He doesn't know us. We're older than him. So we didn't know why he'd be stopping us. And, you know, plus he had friends on his porch at his house. So we figured he'd be hanging out with them instead of stopping random people in the sidewalk. But my friend's just like, nothing. And he's like, so what you guys got on you? And I just gave him this weird fucking confused look because I didn't know if he was being serious or not because he kind of smirked when he said it. And my friend's just like, dude, how old are you? And he's like, 13. Why? My friend's like, 13. And you're trying to fuck with us and steal our stuff jeez and i just kind of like shook my head and laughed and he's like i'm being serious what do you guys got on you and he starts like pulling up his shirt a little bit trying to like reveal that he's got something under there i was like is this is this fucking kid really trying to like say that he has like a gun on him or some shit is he really trying to fucking threaten us right now like i actually got kind of scared when i saw that because i was like damn kids are getting crazy but this kid just smiles and he's like don't make me pull it out on you guys and my friends like pull it out why don't you and he's like no i don't want to let's just make this easy my friend's like, why won't you pull it out? You're not afraid to show us the little orange tip on the front that makes it an airsoft gun? This kid's like, it's not an airsoft gun. And he quickly, like, covers it back up with his shirt. My friend's like, really? Like, why won't you show us that it's not one? Like, prove it. Pull it out and show us. He's like, no, it's, it's not. I promise. I just don't want the people in the street to see. And I looked around. I was like, no one's around but your friends. Come on, show us, dude. He's like, all right, whatever. And he takes his fucking airsoft gun out of his pants. And sure enough, we were right. It had an orange tip on it. It was an airsoft gun. It wasn't a real, like, deadly gun. And don't get me wrong, airsoft guns still hurt when you get shot by them. I got shot by one of my sleep once, and I woke up to just, like, this weird sting feeling. But to be honest, that's, like, a whole other video for a whole other time. Just not fun. But holy fuck, imagine if my friend opened his mouth and shit-talked this kid, and he was wrong, and the kid actually had, like, a real fucking gun, and he was, like, some 13-year-old thug that just didn't give a fuck and shot us or something. Like, could you imagine? Like, that's the worst way to go out. And never, fucking ever, take after what my friend did, because it may have worked that one time, but if it was a different situation and he said that shit, we could have, like, actually gotten seriously hurt or just, like, robbed and fucking jumped or something. I don't know. But luckily, he ended up just being, like, a bullshitter, just trying to get some easy money, trying to rob people. But my friend actually did a very smart thing after we caught him, you know, using a fucking airsoft gun to try and get money from people and, like, attempt to rob us. My friend was like, yo, give me your airsoft gun. And the kid gave us a really dirty look. He was like, what do you mean? My friend's like, give me your fucking airsoft gun. I want it. 
And even I gave my friend a weird look. I was like, what are you fucking trying to do? And he just turns and looks at me. He's like, dude, this kid's just going to do this to a bunch of other people to try and get their money like he did to us. I want that so he doesn't do that to anyone else. I'd rather just do that instead of call the fucking cops. And the kid's like, I'm not going to do that to anyone else. I was just joking. And my friend Josh, I kind of fucking love him for this. He's like, oh, you were joking. That's a really funny joke, pulling your shirt up and pretending like you have a real weapon that you're going to use to kill someone. Come on, dude. We both know you're full of shit. Just give me your airsoft gun. And he drops it, and he just walks away. The kid walked back to his porch, and my friend picked it up. He's like, I'm not letting him do that to other people. That's fucked. And I was just kind of blown away at the whole situation. I was like, did we really just almost get fucking robbed by a 13-year-old, used an airsoft gun to try and intimidate us, and then my friend counter-robbed him and got the weapon to keep other robbings from happening? Like, it's kind of a mind fuck. That's what I was thinking the whole time. But then I looked at my friend. I was like, damn, that's actually really smart. Like, good idea. He's like, yeah, I guess. I mean, shit, when I was 13, all I would do was just mess around on my Game Boy, and that was it. Now there's 13-year-olds out here trying to get free money and rob people? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, that is pretty terrible and a horrible thing to do, especially at that age, but I was just more mind-fucked at the whole situation, and after it was over, we just kind of laughed because, you know, we caught him, and it was funny catching someone being a fake thug, but it could have gone a lot of other ways, and I'm glad it didn't because fuck, but yeah pretty insane story so please leave a like if you enjoyed it It would really mean a lot and yeah we actually sold the airsoft gun to a friend of ours it's like super in airsoft and i don't know that was pretty much the end hopefully we walked away saving a bunch of other people from going through that same thing and even if it was a fucking joke that's still horrible like threatening people with a thing that looks like a real gun that's not a funny joke at all i hope he didn't think so but yeah that's the end i hope you guys enjoyed it please leave a like if you did enjoy Leave your stories in the comments down below. Leave the crazier ones down there because I always love reading them. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys all tomorrow. Peace. Give you whites like Kobe's wide. We sort of like Goldie, right? Do the way we mold them, right? I can make you a celebrity overnight. At the store, girl, what do you like? I got whiskey, do you got ice? I am tipsy, do you want wine? Scratch out that girl, do you want mine? I'm outside, girl, pick up your phone. Are you alone? Are your roommates home? R&B, yeah, your favorite songs. Turn